Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about two more network switch attacks: ARP poisoning and port mirroring attack. ARP is address resolution protocol. Is a protocol used in the computer networks to map an IP address to MAC address. When a device wants to communicate with another device on a network, it needs to know the MAC address of a destination device. However, devices primarily use IP addresses to identify each other. This is where the ARP. Comes into play. ARP helps devices on a local network dynamically discover and communicate with each other by resolving IP addresses to MAC addresses. It plays a crucial role in the functioning of a local area network. However, it's important to note that ARP is vulnerable to attacks such as ARP. Poisoning. ARP poisoning is also known as ARP spoofing or ARP cache spoofing. It is a type of network attack that involves the attacker sends false ARP messages to map their MAC address to the IP address of another device on the network. In an ARP poisoning attack, the attacker Sends ARP messages to the network devices, associating their own MAC address with IP address of legitimate device. This allows the attacker to intercept and modify network traffic intended for the legitimate device without being detected. ARP poisoning can be used to carry out several types of attacks. Including man-in-the-middle attacks, session hijacking, denial of service attacks, and data theft. I will demonstrate how ARP poisoning works. Let's see how computers create ARP tables in a normal situation. Suppose computer A wants to send a message to computer B. But in computer A's ARP table, computer B's MAC address doesn't exist. Therefore, it will broadcast to the network, asking for the computer B's MAC address based on its IP address. Suppose the switch is new, and has no entry for any device at this point. The switch would add computer A's MAC address. And its interface to the MAC address table. As computer B hears the broadcast and creates ARP record of the computer A's MAC address and its corresponding IP address in its ARP table. When it replies to computer A, the MAC address table of a switch also adds an entry for computer B. When computer A gets the message, it creates ARP entry of a computer B's MAC address and IP address in its ARP table. Let's see what happens when a hacker launches ARP poisoning attack. The attackers craft ARP messages with false information, typically. These messages claim that the attacker's MAC address corresponds to the IP address of another legitimate device on the network, such as default gateway or specific target machine. The forged ARP messages are sent to the target device, computer A in this example. The target device receives the message and updates its ARP cache, associating the attacker's MAC address with the computer B's IP address. From this point on, all traffic meant for the legitimate IP address will be sent to the attacker's MAC 
address instead. This allows the attacker to intercept, monitor, modify, or block the network traffic as desired. The attackers may choose to forward the intercepted traffic to the legitimate destination after analyzing or modifying it, allowing the attacker to go unnoticed in some cases. Preventing ARP spoofing requires multi-layered approach that includes network configuration, security best practices, and specialized security tools. To protect against ARP poisoning attacks, you can take the following measures. Use secure network protocols such as encrypted connections, HTTPs or VPNs, to protect the confidentiality of your data. Regularly monitor or analyze network traffic for suspicious activity. Educate network users about the risks of poisonings and encourage them to be cautious while accessing sensitive information over untrusted networks. Port mirroring, also known as port monitoring, is a feature of some network switches that allows network administrators to monitor network traffic by copying packets from one or more ports on the switch and sending them to the monitoring device such as network analyzer or intrusion detection system. However, Port mirroring can also be vulnerable to attack as an attacker who has access to the network can exploit the feature to monitor network traffic and steal sensitive information. This type of attack is known as port mirroring attack. In a port mirroring attack, the attacker set up a monitoring device on the network and it configures the switch to copy packets to the device, allowing the attacker to monitor all network traffic, including sensitive information such as passwords and credit card numbers. To prevent such attacks, you can take the following measures. Implement virtual local area networks. By segregating network traffic, you can limit the scope of port mirroring attacks and prevent or authorized access to sensitive data. Disable unnecessary port mirroring. Limit access to authorized personnel only to prevent unauthorized individuals from tampering with port mirroring configurations. And ensure that only trusted administrators have access to network devices and are authorized to configure the port mirroring. Enable port security features. And this is very important to manage the switch. Encrypt sensitive traffic, monitor and analyze network traffic regularly, and also update software. This helps to address any security vulnerabilities that could be exploited by attackers. Conduct regular security reviews and audits. Remember, the security is a continuous process and is crucial to keep up with the latest security best practices and involving threats. I hope this video is helpful. Please support my channel by becoming a member at patreon.com. Thank you very much and see you next time.